New this morning, the woman charged in connection to the disappearance and presumed death of Jennifer Farber Dulos will be facing a judge tomorrow. But when Michelle Traconis appears in court, she'll be standing next to her new attorney. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris joins us live from outside the law office in Hartford with all of the details. Eva. Well, good morning to you both. This is yet another turn of events in this case for the past eight months. Michelle Traconis has been represented by attorney Andrew Bowman. That recently changed. Now it's been more than eight months now since Jennifer Farber Dulos went missing from New Canaan. She was last seen alive, dropping off her five children at school back in late May. Three people have been charged in connection to her disappearance and presumed death. Her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, his former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and Kent Mawinney. Now, as the investigation into what happened does continue, Traconis now has new representation, John Schoenhorn, a Hartford attorney. I would assume spoke with Schoenhorn, who shed new light on their new defense plan and what will happen going forward. He told she's been a, English is a not Traconis's first language. Drama that's been unfolding on a daily basis. She's not been able to defend herself. She has not been able to say or do anything to demonstrate uh, that she's innocent of these charges. So unfortunately, when the big fish gets away, uh, the law enforcement is now going to turn to uh, what's left. And if it happens to be the little fish, you know, all the more reason that someone in that condition and that situation needs a strong defense. And that's what I'm going to provide. And just to kind of reiterate what I was saying a little bit earlier, Schoenhorn telling us that English is not Michelle Draconis's first language. He says that a Spanish-speaking interpreter will actually be in court tomorrow. He also wants to get his hands on those preliminary interviews that Draconis gave to police months ago. He's questioning whether there was a language barrier. Now, I will have much more on this story. You'll hear more from him coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Hartford this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.